What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City. I got something special for you today. Let's jump into this today with number one on my list, something really, really special. That's right, thumbnail time. A 2003 Nissan 350Z. But do you guys see anything about this that just looks like it may be special? I, if you see something down below that might make this car special, definitely drop a comment and tell me what you found. We're going to take a quick look at this. Obviously, she was in an accident. It's listed as a non-runner. I love that kind of burnt orange color to the car. Absolutely beautiful. And you guys tell me, what is this? It is this some kind of a license plate cover? Like to hide? Ooh, that is sharp as hell. That, ooh, that's like a tin can, man. That sucker will cut you up. Somebody put this over here, and it looks like they may have had the license plate behind it. Or maybe they put this here because the original license plate uh, hold downs are missing. Anyway, let's walk around and take a closer look. She's obviously got some nice exhaust, some aftermarket parts. It's got a body kit as well, and it's in some pretty bad shape here. You can see that it is cracked and it is kind of destroyed right there. Definitely fixable. Let's move up the car. Somebody took the original wheels that they had on it off and they put the stock ones back on. I just wonder if they took anything else out from under the hood here. Let's see if we can, oh, they've got it, uh, they got it zip tied. Oh, well, that sucks. That makes it kind of hard to get in here and really see what's going on, doesn't it? HKS. Can you guys see anything in here? I don't know about you, but I, I can't. I can't see anything. <sighs> this sucks. Let's move over to this side. Maybe we can see things a little bit better. Ugh. No. No. Uh, somebody somebody came in here and took a lot of the goodies out. That's what they did. Cooling fans are missing. All the plumbing that was under the hood is missing. I don't see any turbo on this car at all, but I see an intercooler right here. So somebody came in here and I think they took I think they took a lot of the good stuff off and kept it for themselves. That may not even be the engine. This is probably a bad engine. Looking at it, all the hoses are disconnected. A lot of wiring is disconnected. Yeah, somebody may have just thrown this engine in here and uh, collected the payout on it. I hate when they do that because, honestly, when I saw this car, I thought, oh, man, there's some goodies under the hood. It doesn't look like it's wrecked that badly. This could be a... Nice. This could be a fun project. But, uh, yeah, I think somebody's, somebody's taken all the good stuff that was in here. Well, it's got keys, and it is a manual transmission. Yeah, they, they tore this thing apart. That sucks. That sucks. If you guys saw something that I missed, definitely let me know below. But unfortunately, I don't think this is the car I thought it was when I first walked up to it. Now, as I said in a previous video, I'm just wandering around the lot. I'm perusing the inventory. So whatever I see that I think is interesting, I just walk up on it and I'll show you guys. It works out a lot better than having an entire list, having to hunt down all the cars and, and whatever. This one looks like it's not very interesting at first glance but i saw something as i was walking by that made me turn around i actually walked completely past this car and ended up coming back this is interesting it looks like somebody smacked into the back of it and this is a long time ago because this is heavy rust that's not light surface rust this rust has been here for a while something happened with this car it looks like somebody crashed into the back of it obviously the front of it ended up eventually crashing into something but none of this is what caught my eye. It's just a Hyundai. It wasn't something I, I thought was very impressive until I saw this. Look at that. Somebody shot at this car. And it just makes you wonder, like, you start trying to put a story together in your head. You probably shouldn't, but it, it looks like maybe it was a police chase. Now, if the police were shooting at it, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say there probably would be more holes but maybe it was a road rage who knows who knows i'm just saying you can't help but kind of go through your head and, and and put together a story somebody smashed it in the back somebody shot it and eventually they ended up you know like head first into something i wonder where this bullet the bullet came through here 
Or maybe it didn't make it through, actually. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I don't think the bullet made it through. No. Boy. <laughs> wow. Wow. Anyway, uh, <laughs> again, this is not one that we're going to go in depth with because, you know, it's a completely smashed front to back Hyundai. But that bullet hole there kind of threw me for a loop. What do you guys think happened? Well, here we got a 2018 Honda. I got to admit, this is kind of cool looking. Is this a Civic? It's obviously a hybrid. It's a Clarity? What is a Clarity? I've never heard of a Clarity. Look, man, I'm behind on the times, I guess. You guys, you guys gonna have to tell me if you knew about a Honda Clarity plug-in hybrid touring. You know what this reminds me of with that back wheel? An Insight. Uh, this is much bigger than a Honda Insight, but it definitely, something about this car reminds me of the Honda Insight. It's I like it and and I don't, but I do. It's it, I'm conflicted right now. Give me give me time. <laughs> it's a Clarity plug-in hybrid. It's been painted. There's lots of paint all over the back here. This whole all of this has been painted at some point. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice interior. Really? I wasn't I wasn't all that interested in this. I just wanted to show it to you guys, but now Look at the leg room I've got. I'm <laughs> I'm truthfully in shock here. There's plenty of room. These seats are so comfortable. This is nice. It smells good. What, is, what do we got here? Little cup holders? Yeah. This is decent. Oh, don't do it, Randy. You don't want a hybrid. Or do I? Or do I? Boy, she's been, boy, she's really been painted. I don't know what happened to this car, but we got paint everywhere there's overspray on everything this is not what i would call like a quality repair look there's even overspray in here look at all that paint inside the car too good lord nice little key i like that that's cool i love that blue that is nice yeah car is dead as a doornail she doesn't do anything I did not know this existed, and I'm I'm kind of in love with it. I wonder if they still make it in 2023. Huh. Maybe I should give up all of my ridiculous cars, dump the Corvette, dump the SEMA Mustang, dump the Aston Martin, maybe even dump Jessica's... <laughs> I don't know if she'd be having any of that, but <laughs> dump Jessica's Mustang, right? and get something family friendly, economical, save on gas. I'll bet these things aren't even that expensive. I could be wrong about that. If I, just by looking at the car and thinking if I went and I bought one of these brand new, what's it cost, 35, 35, maybe, maybe 35, $37,000 would be my guess. I have no idea, didn't know this car existed. Well, let's put a jump on it and see if we can get it to start. If that won't start it, nothing will. It says it has 72,000 miles on the odometer, and it says it's a non-runner, so most likely probably doesn't run. But I always like to check this stuff for myself because you never know when you're gonna come across a really, really good deal at the auction. If it says it doesn't run, people are gonna bid accordingly. But if you find out that it does run, well, you may have just scored you something big. Oh, it's on? Ooh. Is it running? It says it's running. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Huh. Oh, man, there's even paint back here, too. Look at this all over the taillight. Wow. That's, that's rough. Okay, well, uh... Suffice it to say, she doesn't run well. Look at all the white paint in there, too. That's all supposed to be black. Good Lord. All right, obviously the car's had a traumatic experience at some point, and uh, somebody, somebody fixed her up a little bit there. I don't know what all that noise was, but I can tell you this. It was coming from this side of the car. Clearly coming from this 
side of the car. Boy, it was making it was making some noise, but the dashboard said that it was ready. Like you could have put it in gear and tried going down the road. Uh, I decided with it making that kind of noise, probably probably a bad idea to to do anything with it. So we're gonna walk away from this one. Now this is something that looks nice that should go relatively cheap. Again, don't know if it runs, but it's a 2010 C class. It didn't say on the sticker what kind of C-Class, but she's got good tires. A C300, all right. Not too shabby. The window tint back here is, you know, pretty bad. That's easily remediable. Flat tire, maybe it'll air up and maybe not. Body actually looks pretty good. What are the miles on this? No way. Almost 200,000. Wow. <laughs> Um, okay. I'll be honest with you. I, I would never have guessed 200,000 miles on this car. This car looks really good on the outside. Really good. Aside from some poorly tinted windows and they're turning purple. Easy to take care of. Interior? What do you guys think? Honestly, it doesn't look too shabby to me. Okay. Doors close nicely. All right, she's showing her wear here, which again, no big deal. You just need a driver's seat or you could get somebody to reupholster it. But truthfully, if you could find one of these at the uh, salvage yard, probably cheaper to just get, ooh, oh wow. I hadn't breathed it in, oh wow. <laughs> that hit me like a ton of bricks in the chest. <laughs> Good Lord. That smells like a uh, wacky tobacco is what that smells like. Uh, this is all split up, so you need to replace this door panel. And this little bit of trim that goes down here is missing or broken. So you want to replace it. <clears throat> wow! <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. It, it, it smells pretty bad in here. It smells pretty bad. We'll pop the hood real quick. <clears throat> this car smells like smoke. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Boy, getting that out of here is going to be fun. There's a lot of tobacco material. I don't know what that means. You guys can comment below and you could tell me what it means because I have no idea. I'm just this good kid that's never done anything wrong. But yeah, somebody's done a lot of, sp <laughs> a lot of smoking in here. She's dead as a doornail. Dude, wow. Ah, my lungs, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, over a month ago, I had COVID and it got me pretty bad. It's, it's, it's the worst I've ever been with COVID. Uh, and I'm here to tell you, she got me good and my lungs are still, they're still a little temperamental, man. They can't handle strong, crazy odors like that. Strong smells just get me coughing really bad. Uh, obviously, I'm not sick. It's just, it's just the process of getting better from it. Let's just throw a jump on this, and let's see how she runs. Well, it appears things are trying to work. At least they were. The lights all came on, and then everything turned back off again. Oh, I don't want to be in this car. All right. Oh, she's she's not running well. There it goes. Check engine light immediately. Brake light. Parking brake's not even on. Nope. Check engine light is flashing, so she's got a misfire. RPMs are a little little wonky there. Oh, she's in limp mode. She doesn't want to rev. Brake pad, check brake. Oh, oh, she's trying to die. Yeah, this is this car's rough. She goes into gear and then gets real bad. She does go right into gear both ways, forward and backward. Steering feels fine, brakes feel fine. Important window. Kind of works. It's a little shaky. The whole car is just shaking like crazy. TPMS light is on. Yeah, guys, I'm no <laughs> no don't get me wrong it could be a it could be a decent car for someone you could definitely fix it up it probably doesn't need anything more than a good tune-up maybe some coils uh fluids for sure but 200,000 miles 
and this car does not look like one that was well maintained, I'm going to stay away from this one and move on. Last one on my list here, ladies and gentlemen, a 2006 or 2007 BMW 335. It is the four door. It is an automatic and it looks like those windows were down for a while. The carpets are wet. The interior is really, really nasty. Like this is really bad. Door panels are off of the back doors. This is, this is pretty bad. Uh, this is an 11 of 06, so it is an 07. From what I can tell, the tires look good so far. The paint is completely shot. I love the 335. I mean, I really, really, ever since I bought that one for 4,500 bucks, I've been in love with these things ever since. Let's pop the hood and see if there's any aftermarket goodies under here. Sometimes there are. Nope. Oh, wow. <clears throat> So she's been sitting. Those, for those of you that don't know, there is a big difference between mice and rats. That that you're seeing there, that is rat pellets. Let's just put it that way, rat pellets. Um, and there's tons more up there. This car has been sitting a long, long time. You can see all the debris that's caught up under there. Is this a run? This doesn't say anything. Like this has nothing. I'm going to assume it does not run. Uh, this thing looks like she has sat for a very long time with the windows down, which means it probably won't go for much. So why don't we put a jump on it and just see if it wants to do anything at all. Now I'm going to say there's a very slim chance that this car is going to do anything at all just because of how wet, how nasty this thing is. It's... I don't even... <laughs> I don't even want to sit in it, but I will for the cause. Uh-oh. Nothing. Oh, the interior smells so bad. The key won't even come out. We got no juice in here at all. Now, I've come under the hood here and tried to finagle around with the, the ground. It's almost always, ah, yep, yep. It's almost always the ground. There we go. It'll let us take out our key now key in it runs really it runs and it runs well don't worry I know people don't, don't rev it up I'm not really revving it guys a couple thousand rpm that's it no way 99,504 miles on the dash. This doesn't make any damn sense at all. <laughs> it runs. Power steering works. Brakes feel good. Reverse. Drive. <laughs> Could this be a diamond in the rough? She's not smoking at all. There's the battery. There's a dead mouse. Look at this. There's a dead mouse on those underwear. Oh, wow. Dude, this is a car I don't even want to take home. Oh, wow. Look at all the dead snails. Look at all the dead snails. What? Oh, this is... This is something right here. This is my... Oh. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't open, so the trunk doesn't close. Okay. I can't believe how well this thing is running. Gotta be very careful, because my booster pack is actually holding up the hood. Listen to this. Yeah, guess who's putting this on their list? 14 volts, she's charging. Shut that off, don't even need it anymore. she run on her own. I mean, granted, there's no aftermarket goodies on this, but in a way, that's kind of refreshing. Everybody always goes out and just... Ah, 
dang it. Anyway, people always go out and they they throw down pipes and all kinds of goodies at these cars, which is absolutely fine. But isn't there something about just a nice stock unit? You know, something that hasn't been molested, hasn't been uh, tuned yet. There is. There's something about it, man. You guys comment below and tell me what you think. Because right now, you and I are the only ones that know this car exists and that it runs and moves. Well, that's going to be it for this video. That BMW is currently sitting at $125. Unfortunately, it says it's a repossession and it has a bite now of 26 I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I, I did buy one for $4,500, but it was clean and it ran relatively well with not too many issues. And it had some tasteful upgrades as well. This one, it's low miles, but guys, this thing's full of mice and rats. I don't want to take this home. Like, I don't want to take this car to either one of my houses because it's full of mice and rats. It's also full of feces. You know, if this was a a thousand dollar 12 maybe even fifteen hundred dollar car i would probably do it and i'd figure it out but at twenty six hundred dollars plus fees i can't do it guys i'm out unfortunately we'll, we'll see i'll keep an eye on the auction maybe we can win it for cheap but probably not